We're back in McNew's Automotive with Super Tuner, <laughs> Ray McNew. So, Ray, we're back. This yes. time with the bigger electric turbo. But yeah. also, we have a much bigger throttle body. Yeah. We got a 100 millimeter on before it was a 75 millimeter. Yep. You think that's going to make a difference? Well, I guess we're going to see. Dino don't lie, right? Last time we were at Ray's was to test the first version of the V8 sized electric turbo and the car had a 75 millimeter throttle body on it. This is a pretty healthy V8. It's 365 cubic inch, about six liter, small block Ford, very similar architecture to an LS. It's got good flowing heads. It made some pretty good power. It made 373 rural horsepower. Since then, I ran across a really good deal on a 100 millimeter AccuFab throttle body. It was listed as a 90. I thought it was a 90, but then I actually measured it. Turns out it's a 100. Uh, and here you can see comparison between the 75 millimeter throttle body hole versus the 100 millimeter throttle body hole. I couldn't go all the way down because of the EGR passage, uh, which I could block off and, and go all the way down, but I really don't think that's going to make any flow difference here simply because that's where the butterfly shaft is. Let's see if the 100 millimeter throttle body improves on the 75 millimeter throttle body's horsepower numbers. <laughs> Yeah, 375, 336. Um, the converter looks like it's a little loose in it. It stalled up to like about five grand and sat there for a while. What does our air fuel look like? Air fuel, it's a, probably NA is a, maybe a little bit on the rich side, like 12. We could probably go to 12.8 um, up top. It was about 12.8, but rolling in, we're like 12.4. So um, we probably could lean it out a little bit down low, um, maybe pull three or four percent out of it might help pick it up. But the lines actually look pretty smooth, so the timing looks like it's uh, probably pretty close. That was the first pull. Let's let it cool down, tweak it a little bit, and let's see what we can get. Oh, and you know what the other thing? I have the shift light set to 6500. Okay. Yeah, we can pull it out farther on the next pull as well. It might might still climb and out here on the top end it's still climbing it really hasn't rolled over so if we pull it out to 65 we might see a little bit more horsepower out of it before i get the hate comments of this thing makes no torque keep in mind this thing has a power glide in it and you can't really pull a power glide on a dyno for peak torque because the torque converter is still multiplying torque and you end up with a huge spike in torque Trust me, this thing does make plenty of torque, but nobody races with torque anyway. We race with horsepower. Yeah, 380. Now we got 380. Yep. And we leaned it out down the back side and look, it picked up some nice power up top in the, like through the middle. Oh yeah, it did. So we're up like um, nine foot pound and five horsepower up top. Now we did rev it further, which is where the horsepower came from. Where did it make peak? Um, looks like peak was right around uh, 6150. Now some of this torque, it looks like it didn't flash through the converter quite as much, um, but we're about a 12.9 to one air fuel, 12.7, um, 12.8. So I mean, I think we're good. We don't have a lot of timing in it, but it seemed to like it through the, the middle of the pool. We compared to the last when we dialed it in last time. Yeah, it looks like it, um, it, it's pulling a little bit more out in the top end. It looks like it's breathing a little bit. I mean, it's essentially the same timing curve 
Their fuel looks, um, it's a little bit richer actually out in the top end when we revved it. We could probably pull a little bit of fuel out of it up top. We could probably pick it up a little bit because we only ran it to like 5,900 the last time. Yeah, it might pick up a little bit out in the top end if, if we pulled it out. So you want to do another NA pull? Yeah, we can. All right. Let's do it. Like that, Ray? I believe. 385, Alex. <laughs> look how I pulled up top. That was that timing. And look how smooth it is. Yeah. It was timing up top. How's their fuel look up there? It um, was pretty nice. Yeah, it was 12.7. So that was the 4% we pulled out of it. No, it looks good. And it's not doing that ugly nonsense up here anymore. No, that basically was the ignition timing that we needed to adjust. It just needed some more lead on the ignition timing, and it looks good. I mean, that's that's five, six horsepower at 6,250. I mean, it felt, you could feel it was pulling up, up through there. It sounded better. And the little bit we put in right here, it picked up just a touch. I mean, that was we just added one degree here. Right. But it pulled, so basically our timing curve goes from here to here in the software. So as we gradually started putting more in till it peaked here, it pulled the whole way out and gave us better curve. So that looks good. So there I think it's a pretty good tune-up. 12 horsepower with the 75 mil. Yep, so let's compare that. So basically is, um, it really seems to like it above five grand. We're almost identical with it. We're down 10 foot pound at 47, but from five grand out, we're even. And then as we pull up now, look how much smoother it looks. So it liked the timing oh, yeah. and the throttle body. Why are we down 10 foot pounds? Well, it looks, it could be in the converter, um, the way it's wide. hitting. Yeah, yeah, possibly. I mean, it's just hard. You got them to replicate. You almost have to tip in exactly the same, same. every time. And that's going to be hard. Yeah. Yep. That's oh. what I try to explain to the viewers. It's a glide. So yep. on a glide, like if you just whack the throttle, you'll get all kinds of nonsense happening here. Yep. 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 So I try to tip into it to simulate it every time. But in a sense, is it locks up, seems to lock up right around five. So everything after five is our curve. Right and it looks really good. And it definitely pulled out higher at 62.50. I mean, we're up 20 horsepower at 62.50. Wow. And that's the ignition time, and probably the throttle body. Electric turbo time? Yep, let's do it. Oh, I'm pretty nervous, man, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Yeah, <laughs> don't All be right. nervous, you'll make me nervous. So there you have it. A 100 millimeter throttle body is worth 12 horsepower over a 75 millimeter throttle body on a 500 horsepower car. In the next video, we kicked on the electric turbo and we made a lot more than 385 rear wheel horsepower. So stay tuned, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll catch you all in the next one.